one to, to Motaz. Um, I'm going to go for a, a 28 minute match. Neither player has spent long on court. I think they're going to race through, rattle off points with winners, whereas one of the two, probably mostly winners. Yeah, it just doesn't suit their play style, does it? These The long attritional rallies. Typical Egyptian squash, just first opportunity in the rally, take it in short and then follow it up. Very short, sharp, intense rallies that we've been seeing all the way through the tournament from both of these players. It might be a question of who's just hitting the ball better on the day, who can get higher up the court. Um, but we'll, we'll see that as the game unfolds. Yeah, they've certainly not messed around so far. They've rattled off uh, to 3-1 here. Okay. This ball from Kamal there gives uh, yeah. has a 4-1 lead. Wow. I think the other thing to, to bear in mind with this match is, obviously from both actually, is that a lead really means nothing. Um, seeing both players come back and the momentum shift very, very rapidly in matches so far. Just a bit edgy here at the start from Kamal. A couple of errors, a couple of loose balls. Perhaps just a bit overwhelmed with the task of playing the highest seeded player. That's a nice yeah, a line there from her. Yeah, beautiful line. A couple of years difference between the two as well. And so, uh, Mark Kamal, the younger by two years, just 19. Very recently, 19. It has it That's a lot of experience. Yeah, so it's a big learning curve going from the junior side of the game, obviously coming out of the juniors at 19 years of age into the senior level. There's a very steep learning curve. So those two years that Hannah Motaz has on her side would be invaluable in this situation. Yeah, completely agree. I mean, it's another two really young Egyptian players that look really exciting, I think, here. You know, again, lovely hands at the front there from Motaz. Both playing in a very attacking style. Really, uh, really very current with the way the game's going, particularly on the women's side. Interesting to see so far that despite Kamal being the left-hander, Motaz isn't particularly targeting the backhand side like you, you would usually see against the left seat. Left she's yeah, just playing it all over the place. Yeah, I think you know he's really using the, the whole of the court. I, mean, I think that's been something also to stand out. So that's taking that first game ball with uh, with absolute ease as Kamal puts that into the tin off the serve. With Motaz taking the first game 11-3. Yeah, she didn't quite get going there, Kamal. It'll be interesting to see how she turns this around in the second game. Just the four minutes. It's not different to what we've seen at all throughout the tournament, though, so far. So I'm not writing anything off just yet. As you said before, the momentum can ebb and flow in these matches. It all depends on who's coming out with a better start. Well, wasting no time in the break either. Neither player opting to take the first uh, for the full two-minute break in between games. Kamal was straight back on court after a quick drinks break, showing an intent that she's eager and ready to go. And there we have it. She takes the first point of the second game. Nice squeeze that from Motaz. Lovely touch at the front of the court. Stroke two 
Mutaz. A little bit heavy on that drop there from Alec Kamal. I think if she wants to get back in here, she needs to get Motaz off the tee position a little bit more than she is already. She's not quite finding her length yet in this game. Motaz just taking one or two steps off the tee. Yeah, it's been an absolute um, shootout as predicted so far, hasn't it? Owen, very quick points. Both Absolutely. Points. It's, yeah, it's just winner or error at the moment. Neither player really manipulating the opponent's movement and moving them out of positions too much. With the quality these two have, taking the ball in, it's understandable that's how they play. Just there's perfect two wall boasts. Second bounce dying in a nick. Yeah, it's beautiful weight on that boast. I mean, it's been a shot that Kamal's used quite a bit to, to great effect, actually. I think this court takes takes the boasting really well. It's a quick, fairly quick court. So if you get the weight of shot right, you can really get it kicking off that front wall at an angle, which is an incredibly hard movement to cover. Seeing both players use it quite a lot throughout the tournament. Oh, some nice work there at the front of the court. Some beautiful yeah. hands from Motaz. Yeah, yeah, I, just as you were saying about the boast, there, Amy, you saw Motaz going back to back boast, trying to show you what, what you were talking about there. It was um, perfectly timed. <laughs> oh. And there we see, there we see it, the backhand cross court, Nick. <laughs> In a quarter final match against the one seeds, Kamal just must have slotted about six or seven of those in, in just one game. If you don't get that serve tight to the wall on her backhand, she is absolutely lethal. Just a stroke given there. I, I must say I thought it sat up quite short. I didn't think that that was going to go that way, but again, players yeah, have to sure. really show the efforts clear there. Yeah, I think that's perhaps what the referee was given the decision for rather than the uh, movement of Kamala herself. It was more the line that Motaz was taking out of the shot, perhaps, mm. that she got penalised for. But that is where the straight counter, as much as it's a lovely shot, does have that little bit of risk involved if you don't clear really obviously. It, just, it either lends it to the person running into the back or you're getting pings for, for not quite clearing. I've seen that across the course of the event. I think as you were saying, Owen, as well, about the speed of the front wall and how bouncy this court would be as well, you know, it, it does have that risk involved of potentially sitting up a little bit. Yeah, you're right. And at the moment, it's just Motaz hitting that counter a little bit better, hitting that softer touch at the front when she does opt for it. Kamal's just been stung with a few strokes here, but managing to stay in the game at 6 all, much better than the first game. Yeah, she's come out a lot better here in this um, second game, Owen. And um, yeah, I'm not surprised by a little bit of a tactical break from Mota. Just breaking up the play here, just resetting. She just made made a few errors. Just let the younger player just stay, you know, within within the same point range as her this time. Not quite building a lead as quickly as she did in the first. It's really, just build for a better contest for us. That's a beautiful straight drop there from Kamal. Eight, it's just so, on that so casual, isn't it? That <laughs> yeah, it's played so, such a relaxed style, isn't it, from Kamal? It's, um, she looks very relaxed on the ball. Seven, yeah, there's just absolutely zero margin for error. She's going for aiming for millimetres above the tin and she's hitting it a lot of the time. Providing quite the challenge for Motaz in this second game. Seeing a few longer rallies as well. Yeah, it's exactly what we wanted this. This is um, the contest that I thought we might get. Yeah, so just going in a bit heavy on that volley drop. We'll just set up, certainly a straight. Brings uh, the points back to level at 8 all. 
very close on that serve there <laughs> to being down. <laughs> Gotten away with it. Really crucial times here for Kamal. You just feel if she gets this yeah. game, we've got a contest on her hand. If not, you would really back the, the more exper slightly more experienced of the two Egyptians to race away. Yeah, I think this this second game is crucial, like you say. It could be a turning point in this match. That's a great gap. It's a lovely combo. Yeah. Yeah. Two or three quality shots there to the front, getting rewarded for it. Again, Mota's just shown a little bit of experience, just using the, uh, the old tail box to advantage here a little bit. Just reset. Realising the importance yeah, think, of this current situation of the match, I think. Yeah, I think it's clever. I think the one thing you do not want to do with a shot player like Kamal is give her a rhythm. If she's in the rhythm and she's playing the game at her pace, she's going to be hitting even more percentages up. But you can see there, she's a bit disrupted. Two quick errors off the return of serve both sides, giving yeah, no the game ball. Game. Yeah, brings up game ball here at 10-9. Absolutely crucial period of the match. Oh, it's a good gap. Unbelievable retrieving here from Kamal. Ooh. Ooh. She wasn't quite... Uh, yeah, she yeah. wasn't as close to that as perhaps she thought she was there. I'm not sure she was getting her racket on that ball, but referee's yeah. given a stroke. And that's the second game for Motaz. A much tighter affair we saw in that one. Kamal leading all the way through, really, up until 9-8, where she made two cheap mistakes at the end of the game, which gave Hannah Motaz the game ball, which she converted very well. And they're a two-love lead here. It'll be interesting to see if Kamal can keep that momentum going. Room. Nice catchy jingle from our partners HCL who have made this event possible. Again, neither player really wasting any time in the in between game break. Both not taking the full two minutes. Come out back on court almost straight away, hitting the ball, getting grooved. Positive sign That's shows that she's not tired. Yeah, they don't mess around, Owen, at all. They're uh, two players that want to get on with it. Oh, outrageous winner to start off this uh, third game from Kamal. Sets a nice tone for a potential comeback here from the younger of the two players. Depth. Nice little hold at the front as well. Really getting on top of Motaz in this rally, but just caught the corner, should be annoyed with that. Yeah, just showing a little bit of frustration. Yeah, it was a good rally up to then. Yes, 
I'll be playing those at this level. Mm. You just feel that, I mean, that that second game was crucial. You know, I really um, felt that Kamal needed that second yeah. game to turn this into a match. I, I feel momentum is very much with Motaz. It's a it's an uphill struggle here on the on the scoreboard and also mentally. It's a massive challenge for a younger, less experienced player to overcome. Yeah, I completely agree here. Just we saw yesterday just the ruthlessness of Motaz when she had a lead of just not letting her opponent in still, not taking her foot off the gas and just charging through the third and fourth games that she did have. And I don't think this today's gonna to be any exception here. Kamal's gonna to have to do something special to get back into this game. It's been fantastic to have um, some live squash back on here in India. It's a massive thanks, Owen, to the to the partners HCL, obviously the sponsor of this event, and the Squash Rackets Federation of India. It's uh, it is a challenge in COVID to get events on, so it's fantastic for the players and for the audience as well to get some squash on. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to see lots of local Indian players getting the opportunity to play as well because of that really supporting the homegrown talent in India. Obviously the current pandemic restrictions mean a lot of international players can't play, so it's perhaps given a few younger players the opportunity to get up the rankings, which they might not have had so early in their careers. Yeah, and I think, you know, with some of our experiences, aren't we, as, as players and coaches and everyone involved in sport, so that's what we've lacked over this last period is these experiences, which are absolutely crucial for, for our sport. So. so we're locked in here, we're, we're close early doors, neither player quite making the move. I think this this is good for Kamal though, if she can stay with her, Motaz, until the latter stages of the game and then use her attacking talent to open up a lead. I think she's better off doing that rather than going for too much too early and perhaps risking giving up a lead to Motaz. It's a rare cross-court Nick attempt off the serve that didn't roll there uh, from Kamal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That I think last oh, nice way to roll off that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Having said that, uh, Owen, the two-point cushion opens up for Motaz. She just starts to build that little bit of a gap. This is where it could be quite deadly for Kamal. Oof, both players coming together. It was a good tackle that, but I'm not sure she'll be getting the let ball for it. It was a great dying length for Motaz. Obviously no I'm malice intended, just one of those coming together that you get yeah. on a squash court. Not getting the let there. Motaz not messing around, it was a quick mopping technique and straight back in, she's trying to get moving here. She realises how important it is to get this lead, to get this final Absolutely. done and dusted for her. Played through the interference there, Kamal not hitting the shot quality she perhaps wanted to. And the 7-3 lead before now for Motaz, it. it's looking. Yeah, before you know tight. it, that lead builds, doesn't it? really races away. Yeah, she's so good at racking up the points. I think Kamal needs to really try and up the pace here, take the game to her. Nice error off the return of serve there, which she won't complain about. Bringing her back to 5-7 within two points. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Eight, 
Just flashing that stroke away into the tin. 9 5, four point cushion rebuilt. Just a couple of points away now from uh, closing out this first of our finals for Motaz. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of desperation there great on that time. shot. Yeah, it was a great time length, followed up nicely, and here we are with championship points. Five championship points, and won on the first occasion. So there's the first of our finals with Hannah Motaz taking it three games to love in absolute spectacular uh, form really showing the form showed across the course of the event as well really not messing around in just a 22 minute match winning 11-3 11-9 11-5